Hi, and welcome to our 96th test and measurement video. Today, we'll survey the library of 12 waveforms contained in the Tektronix MDO 3000 series oscilloscopes internal arbitrary function generator. To access it, we simply connect AFG out on the back panel to one of the analog channel inputs on the front panel using a BNC cable. Then we press AFG on the front panel and the default sine wave appears. The other waveforms can be accessed by pressing the soft key associated with waveform in the horizontal AFG menu. Then use multipurpose knob A to scroll down through the available waveforms. Some of them, such as Lawrence, may require the user to press auto set to obtain a stable display. Then, if you go back to sign, you'll have to press auto set once again to restore the trigger setting. So let's take a closer look at the sign waveform. The fundamental thing to notice is that the rate of change varies inversely with the amplitude. At the positive and negative peak voltages, the waveform flattens out as the amplitude rate of change approaches zero. And when amplitude is close to zero, so that the trace is crossing the x-axis, the rate of change is greatest. We can alter these proportions by turning either the channel scale or the horizontal scale knob, which do the same thing. But it is not the electrical wave that is modified, just the way it is displayed. A great many physical phenomena, human-made and occurring in nature, conform to the sine function. Consider the pendulum. As it swings to its upper limit, farthest from the Earth's center of gravity, the rate of change of its speed declines until the pendulum stops momentarily, then accelerates in the opposite direction. If the voltage with respect to time in the output of an electrical generator is graphed, it will also conform to a sine wave due to the generator's rotary nature. Next is the square wave. It is different from the sine wave in regard to its rate of change. Rise and fall times are near instantaneous for this 100 kilohertz waveform on the time scale that is shown. And the high and low levels do not change. These characteristics make the square wave useful as the output of a digital clock in oscilloscope analog to digital conversion circuits. Pulse is similar to square wave, except that the duty cycle can vary over a wide range. Ramp has a linear rise and fall. A variation, the sawtooth wave, was used in analog TV and CRT-based oscilloscope sweep circuits. DC amplitude with respect to time does not change. Here, since the voltage is zero, the trace is difficult to see because it coincides with the x-axis. Noise is a random amplitude waveform of indeterminate frequency. Pressing output settings Various percentages can be added to any waveform, except, of course, noise itself. Sine x over x is an interesting waveform whose amplitude, as you can see, spikes at regular time intervals. 
It is used for interpolating values between discrete samples in a digital oscilloscope display so that the trace does not consist of dots only. The waveform of the Gaussian or normal distribution may be plotted as the number of quasi-random events or measurements against time. And strangely, they are not so random after all. Informally, this is known as the bell curve, but not all bell curves are Gaussian. The Lorentz waveform is used in modeling and derives from quantum effects. Exponential rise and exponential decay have nonlinear segments with abrupt transitions preceding the cycles. The cardiac waveform is non-dynamic. It is used as a standard in testing, calibrating, and verifying heart monitoring equipment for healthcare facilities. Thanks for watching. New videos are added periodically, so check back frequently.